there is a moment when you have to choose whether to be silent or to stand up. Tonight, Malala remains in intensive care. She was shot in the head for daring to suggest girls should go to school. Me and my wife, we cried all the night. The doctors told me she will survive, but she may not be the same as she was. They shot me on the left side of my head. They thought that the bullet would silence us. I am the same Malala. I'm still 17. I'm still a teenager. She's a little bit naughty, a little bit that much. Who would you have been if you were just an ordinary girl from the Swat Valley? I'm still an ordinary girl. But if I had an ordinary father and an ordinary mother, then I would have two children now. This is my youngest brother. He's a really good boy. This is the laziest one. <laughs> my father said, have you forgiven them? You've never felt angry? No. I want people to learn from the experience I had. Very nice to see Hello, you. Nice to see you. A woman is more powerful than me. What? What are you doing? In this new school, it's hard. Physics, 61%. <gasps> you think you could ever ask your boy out on a date? <laughs> Roger Federer. You like him? <laughs> I like his haircut. When I think of home, I miss the dirty streets. I miss the river. I miss my friends. I just want to see that house just once. You named her after a girl who spoke out and was killed. It's almost as if you said she'll be different. You're right. I am those 66 million girls who are deprived of education. I'm not a lone voice. I am many. And our voices are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen, they can change the world. My father only gave me the name Malale. He didn't make me Malale. I chose this life and now I must continue it.